Hey everybody, Tom Sparks with Sparks Media Group. Uh, today we're going to talk about lighting for the Matterport Pro 3. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions on how do I scan a space that doesn't have power and what I use for lighting, so I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to be referencing my phone to get some information about this particular device, but what I bought is a Litra, Li Litra torch. Um, right now they're going for about $60 on B&H, and I think they might be discontinued because I couldn't find them on their website. Uh, but this Litra torch has a 5700 Kelvin output, 70% beam spread. It has uh, three settings of different lumens, which I'll talk about. Um, you can do 100, 450, and 800 lumens, as well as a uh, 2200 lumen when used as a strobe. So it's pretty bright. Um, let's see, 16 LEDs, uh, flicker-free operation. It uses a micro USB charging point. Uh, and yeah, so I think that's pretty much the details on this. Um, this particular one that I have, I have a diffuser for it, which I use when I'm scanning, uh, but you can use it without a diffuser. And there's a couple different uh, diffusers that you can get for it. Uh, if you can't find it on B&H or on Amazon, uh, take a look at eBay. You might be able to find it there. But uh, I'll put a link in the description to it and then to the GoPro adapters that I have for it. Um, what you want to do is take off the adhesive. I'm not going to take it off and attach it to the Pro 3 today, but this is the process. You want to take off the adhesive and you want to mount it centered uh, width-wise, and you want to mount it to where the front of the GoPro mount is right to the front of the camera, like so. By doing this, um, you'll ensure that the LiDAR doesn't hit the back of the Leecher torch, and you'll ensure that the front of the GoPro mount isn't in the camera's view. So there we have it. I'm going to do three scans today. Uh, I'm going to scan with all the lights on in the studio. I'm going to scan with the Litra torch on. And then I'm going to scan with all the lights off and the Litra torch on. So here's the first scan with all the lights on in the studio. Now I'm going to show you how it looks at the 100 lumen. I think that's the 450 lumen and the 800. And then there's the strobe. So we'll turn it on its brightness. Uh, we'll turn it all the way up. So we have it at 800 lumens. And when we look at the scan with the Leecher off and the studio lights on, and please forgive the messy studio, uh, you'll see it looks good. Now I'm going to move the Matterport over. Here we're going to do a second scan with all the studio lights off. There is a window in the studio, so uh, there's a little bit of light that's coming in, uh, which is unavoidable. Um, I guess if you're scanning a house, there's always going to be windows that let a little bit of light in. Uh, so unless you're in a dungeon scanning, um, you'll have a little bit of light coming in. Uh, but here's the scan with um, the Leecher on 800 lumens and the studio lights off. and you'll see that it doesn't look bad at all. So now I'm gonna move the Matterport tripod 
and I'm going to turn off the leecher torch. So now we're going to do a third scan with no Leitra torch uh, and the studio lights off. Okay, so we did, just did a scan with the um, lights off in the studio and no Leitra torch. And you'll see just how dark it is. So I'll send this to Matterport for processing and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I do want to say that when I was doing some searching, it looks like this Leitra torch might be discontinued, although there was some still available on B&H, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, however, there are... Um, some off-brand ones, uh, I think Ulanzi might be one of them, which is roughly about $32 on Amazon, and it has, it looks like the same amount of power. I haven't tried that one, so your miles may vary, uh, but I'll put a link to the off-brand one in the description as well. So that's it on how to light up the Pro 3 using a Litra torch. Uh, stay tuned because I'll be doing a video on how to light up the Pro 2, and you don't want to miss that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you could give me a like, I'd appreciate it. If you think this video is useful enough to share it, please do so. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.